This video is, is on mass spectrometer. A mass spectrometer is a piece of equipment that can find the mass of different individual atoms for different elements. Um, how it works is, it based on the concept of if something is moving and you hit it with a sideways force, it's not going to stay in its straight line path that it's traveling in. For instance, if you have a ball that rolls across in front of you and you hit it, it's going to change its path. It's going to slightly curve. Um, the amount it deflects or changes out of its path is going to depend on the mass of the ball. So if you have a bowling ball rolling across in front of you and you hit it, it's going to change its path but just a little bit. Compared to if you had a ping pong ball rolling across in front of you, if you hit the ping pong ball with the same force as the bowling ball, then it would really change its path. Um, knowing the speed of the ball and the size of the force that you hit it with, there are calculations you could do to find the mass of the ball. This machine does that for us. So it takes the same concept and applies it to atomic sized particles. Um, atoms can be deflected because we can make them positively charged and we use a magnet as our force. So the magnet is going to attract the cations. The bigger the mass is, the less it's going to move. It's going to transfer out of its um, path. And all of these masses that it calculates are relative to a carbon-12 atom. So they're all compared to a carbon-12 atom. So there's five stages. The first one is not in this picture. Well, it kind of is. This vaporized sample. So vaporization is the first. Then it goes through ionization, acceleration, deflection, and detection. So the first stage is vaporization. You take a sample of whatever element you want to find its mass for. And you, it first vaporizes it for you. So it takes it and turns it into a liquid. It melts it past you and then eventually a gas. Then it goes through ionization. Atoms are ionized, so they're hit with an electron beam, and they're turned into cations, cations. So they're positively charged. So now they're positively charged. Now the machine accelerates them. So it speeds them up so that they all have the same kinetic energy, so the same speed going into the next stage which is deflection. So you get all these particles, they're cations, going through the machine, and the next part is the magnet. So the lighter they are, the more likely they are to deflect, the more they're going to deflect. So the magnet's going to pull them. Versus the heavier they are, the less they're going to be pulled, the less they're going to deflect. The charge also has to do with their deflection. The higher the charge, the more attracted, the more deflection they're going to be. Um, the lower the charge, the less the deflection because they're not going to be as attracted to the magnet. The last stage then is where the machine actually does the calculation. Based on what particles go through there and the path they've taken, the machine calculates how heavy each one is. So here's a picture of what a mass spectrometer looks like, and you'll hear it sometimes called a mass spec. Um, it's usually hooked up to a computer where you're going to get some sort of graph to give you your data. So your graph might look something like this, where this is molybdenum, element MO. So it's going to talk about the different isotopes you have in there and the different masses of each one. So you have atoms at all these different masses. Um, the height of the bar is going to show you their abundance, so how much you have of each. You're going to see most of the atoms of molybdenum have a mass of 98. Okay, But some have a mass of 92, some 94. So another one might look like this. Here's cadmium, same kind of thing. This has a percent abundance versus a relative abundance. Relative would just be compared to, so out of 1, percent's going to be out of 100. So most of it's going to be whatever this mass is. Um, so that is how a mass spectrometer works. If you um, would like more information, there is some information in your book.